What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Grits Ball Sports. And today is going to be a different sort of video because whenever I do streams, I have a scoreboard in the top. And some people either don't know how to do that or they do know how to do it, but they don't know how to do it like really well and effectively to make it look cool. And people have asked me to make a tutorial video on how I do the scoreboards for my streams. So I'm going to do that right now today. I'm going to show you um, what I do. What I do is a little different than what most people do. Um, it might work for you, it might not. Um, you, you're gonna have to play around with it yourself. But I'm gonna show you how I stream and get the scoreboard and what you can do to make it. So, own. the software I use to stream is called OBS. I forget what it stands for. It is free, it is totally free. When you go here, if you don't have it already, there's gonna be a spot to download it. Like, I already have it, but you go to download up here and then you pick whatever system you're operating on Windows or whatever. And then once you download it, it is going to look like this. It'll be, it's going to have this little, this little black circle here. So when you click on this, this, this will come up. Now what you, there are two things that you need to stream. You need a picture of your computer screen like this. So obviously it, this is showing the screen and obviously it's in this like infinite loop sort of thing because it's showing the screen, showing the screen. Like you get what, you get what I'm saying. And this is in the way you add that is you go down here, you right click and you click add. Hold on, you go right click, add, and then there's a bunch of options. It's called display capture. So you click on display capture, you can name it whatever you want, and then it'll pop up what your screen, then you press OK, and then it'll show your screen. Now I already had one in here, so now I have two of these. You only need one. So you just pop up. Display capture is what it's called. You pop in that one. And if you want to remove it, right click, remove. Yes. The second thing you're going to need is the pictures. That's that's here. So what it's going to be is you're going to go right click. You, you right click, add, and it's video capture device somewhere right here. And then you click OK. And then now there is a, like if you have a camera or something that's connected, you can add that there. But most of the time, it's just going to be the camera on your computer. If you have another camera connected, I think it should go to that. You're going to have to mess around with that yourself. I'm not huge on that. But what you and once you get here, you can drag. Uh, you can drag this to whatever size you want. You can drag. You can drag your other one to whatever size you want. And that is how you get the two things that you need. Now to the screen. So when you want to stream, you're going to click this little plus with the video camera. Create and click go live. Now this screen will pop up and this is where you can edit the title for your stream and all that stuff. You can, you can mess around with that title description, thumbnail, put, 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 uh, put what, put whatever thumbnail you have in there. You can edit all that stuff for your stream. And then when you're done, you click save. And then the way you get the info from OBS to here is you go down here to stream key. Now this is just a big, it's like blacked out like a password. It's just a bunch of random letters and numbers that gets the information from OBS to your to YouTube. So what you're going to get this code. Do not show this code. You can click here to show the code. Do not show this to anyone because if someone has this code, they can stream on your channel and you, and you don't want that. But once you have the code, you you uh, hold on. you select it all. So you select it all, you copy, I'm not going to actually copy it, and then you go to OBS, and then you're going to go to File, Settings, Stream, and then you paste your stream key into here, click OK, and you're good to go. Everything's going to be set up. And then there should be a button down here that says Start Streaming. Um, the way I have, I have it set up a little bit differently. There should be a button down here that just says start streaming and you click on that and then you'll go live. I have it differently because I messed it up to where I lost it or something, but you can go to settings and then you can go to hot keys. This is what I do. And then you have a certain stuff to start recording. I press shift Q to start stream and stop stream. And then if you want to record, like if you're not, if you want to record something and upload it as a video, there should be a button down here that says start recording, but I have it as a hotkey. You can just go to hotkeys and set up um, all this stuff. And then like when I press shift Q, I'll, I'll, I start going live. 
you can make it whatever key you want. Just know if OBS is open, you will start going live if you accidentally press that key. So make sure you close OBS when you're not streaming or using it. So just just make sure you do that because I've accidentally gone live uh, plenty of times because I've stopped streaming. So now let's talk about how you get the scoreboard. Okay, I make my scoreboards on Google Drawing. If you have a YouTube account, then you know how to use Google Drawing or you can. Um, when you get to your main page, hold on. Let me, let me, let's start a new tab. You go, this is my school account. Let me get to my quiz bill. You click these little nine dots, go to drive, click new, go to more, and then Google Drawings. This will give you a new drawing. Now, ha, the, now, uh, so this is how I made my scoreboard. Um, it's going to be hard for, I'll make like a real basic one. Like, let's just go to, you can, you can go insert and then you have all this stuff. You can, you have shapes, like you have rectangles, triangles, you have all that stuff. And then you can also go insert word art. And then when you want to insert word, let's just say MSU, hold on, what did I press? Okay. Like, let's say MSU is blank. So if I want to type in MSU, you type MSU into word art and then boom. You have it here and then you can click up here. There's a ton of cool fonts here. The one that I use is Fugaz one. That's, that's the font I use for my streams. But like for this, I just made select for football. I put a rectangle on both sides. I, you, you can edit the teams that are here. Like, uh, you, uh, so like, so, so the bears are playing new Orleans, right? So like, if I wanted to change this, you can, you can click on your word art and you can click edit text to whatever you want. And then if you want to undo, you go up here and you click this back arrow and then it reverts back. If you want to change the color of it, you have the, you have the main color here and then the outline color. So like if I wanted to change the, it to blue, like navy blue, I can go like that. And now it's navy blue. And like, let's say I wanted to change the background to orange. You click here, make it orange. And boom. So uh, that's what it is. And then in the middle, I have all the I have all the stuff here. So like what quarter number it is, if I need to change that, go back there. And then for the down marker, you can go like this and then you can just edit it to say like, let's say it's first down. You can just edit it to say first, press enter and boom, you're good. Um, I encourage you guys to have creative freedom with it. Make it however you want. Make sure the information's like presentable though, so people like know what's going on. Um, I encourage you guys to 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 just mess around with it, have fun, make it look cool. Uh, try just play around with different fonts, find what you want. Okay, I feel like I wasn't. I feel like I wasn't that like. I don't think I explained that the part on how to make it better enough. So I'm just gonna make like a random one. So like. You want, you want it to be in like a full rectangle. So we can just start with one. You can make it like skinnier. So like your thing has more space. If you're gonna make it skinnier though, make it like pretty wide. So let's go like this and just say that's your area to do stuff. So like if there's two teams playing, so I'm, I'm just gonna make one right now. And hopefully this can, this can help you guys.
like I hope I hope that kind of helps um I hope just watching me sort of like do it sort of shows you how to do it I mean I don't know if that's actually gonna help like this is obviously like a pretty ugly looking scoreboard who wants to look at that but like I encourage you guys to mess around it find something and once you find something that looks cool just go ahead and use it um you can edit it whenever you want um and you don't here's here's the last thing you don't have to make a new scoreboard every time like you don't have to click new drawing every time once you have one that looks good, like I found this one that looks good, you can just edit the teams in here. Like if, like if I want to change this to like who's like, who, like who, what's a good game? Let's say I want to change it to Eagles and like Eagles and Cowboys. I can just, I can just change, I can just change this in here to like Philly. I can make, I can just make this green, make this like let's say gray. And boom, now it's now it's a different team, and you can edit it. It's you don't have to make a new one every time. Just find one that works for you. Just just have some fun with it. Find one that looks cool, and then you should be good. So once you have your scoreboard, I'm gonna use this Ohio State Penn State one as an example. You open OBS. You're gonna want to minimize it so it's like this. You want to get it out of the way of the scoreboard. So like. You can't have your thing like in the middle of the scoreboard. It has to be completely above. You bring this over to give it like as much space as you need. And then you're going to want to drag this to where the scoreboard is in the top corner. So like that. And then you're going to need to drag. drag. It's kind of weird to drag it, but you're going to drag it around until it's the same width as like the top. So I'm going to this. You want to make it so it's perfectly flush in there. So, I mean, it, 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 it takes a little bit, but, like, it's a little bit out. You want to drag it so it's, like, it just, it, it'll just plop right in there. A little bigger. There you go. So, once you have this in here, now you can take your camera, move it up to where it's, like, about here. Move it up to where it's, like, about here. You can take your camera, move it up to where it's, like, about here. And then you can drag it down. Don't worry about some of it going below. That's fine. You're just going to have to stay in your, like, the top part of your camera. It's not that fine. And boom, you're good to go. And then what else I do is you can take your stream thing here. You can minimize this. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to want to take your tab and drag it out of all the other tabs. Minimize it. Put it in there. Go to your go to your scoreboard. Um, then pull up OB, click OBS, click on Google, pull up your stream, drag it down to where it fits. And that's where you can see your chat, see how many people are in here, and you are good to go. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to edit the scoreboard after every play, and if you don't want to do that, I have a solution for you. You're going to go, so whatever game you're doing, go to ESPN or CBS Sports or whatever you want. So, like, let's just pick a random game. Let's pick the World Series. Or you're going to go to scores or just fi find the game you're doing. Go to game cast. And so like you have this up here during the entire game. There's like the runners on base and everything. If you want to do that, you can just have that on your screen and just oh, you got to bring it down. And then you can just drag this here if you don't feel like editing. And then it'll just be like the live game cast feed if you don't feel like editing it after every single play, which I know some people don't like to do because it just gets kind of annoying. You can just have that up there if you want to. Um, I like I like the one that I made just because I think it looks cool and a lot of people like it. But I encourage you guys to make your own scoreboard. Just you, just mess around with it. Trust me, you'll get it. There's like a bunch of different ways you can do it. If you don't want to edit it like that, you just go to GameCast and pull it up on the OBS thing like this, and then you'll be good to go. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if it was helpful. And I hope you guys, uh, uh, I hope you guys have fun streaming with scoreboards because it, it does make your streams a lot better. Because then people don't have to constantly ask you, "What's the score? What's this? How many outs are there?" It, it makes it a lot better. They can just find it right there. So I hope this was helpful. See you guys next time.